Hi guys, welcome back to my new videos. And first of all, successfully we have crossed 10,000 subscribers in 50 days, I guess, 50 to 60 days. And really, a uh, thank you so much for your support, guys. And thank you for subscribing me. And thank you for watching my content. And yeah, in this video, I'm gonna rate programming languages which you want to learn on 2025. Uh, with the actual scope of the programming languages and how much percentage the job percentage and rest of the information so make sure that you watch the video till the end and i'm gonna give free resources as well to learn all these and i'll be telling you what are the benefits of learning these programming languages so without wasting any time let's jump into the video make sure that you subscribe like and comment if you have any doubts i'm always available to reply to your comments let's see what is the content so the rank 10 goes to Kotlin, uh, which is a modern cousin of Java. So Kotlin is the Android's future. In 2025, the demand which will be going very much high. In upcoming future, Kotlin is going to bring a very good ecosystem in Java. It seamlessly integrates with Java, which is making easier for developers to create apps and other integrations with Java and Kotlin to Android. So if you are diving into Android and Android developing segment, then Kotlin is one of the best thing you should learn in 2025. Now the rank 9 goes to Swift, the Apple innovator. So basically Swift is required for creating iOS apps and everyone knows Apple is famous for their innovation in their UI and their features as well. So Swift, one of the important thing which is playing an important role in those things. Now the server side frameworks like Vapors are getting its reach in 2025. So if you are into iOS and iOS development, then Swift is one of the best thing you need to learn and it's a high paying job as well. The eighth rank goes to Ruby, which is a friend to startup. Now you guys may think like Ruby is out of trend, but it is actually not. Most of the startups, around 70% of startups which is actually happening right now and will happen in future are preferring Ruby for their prototypes. Framework like Rails which is making prototyping easy and perfect building for MVP. So if you are an entrepreneur who wanted to try something new in software field then Ruby is one of the best thing. So if you want to get placed in startup then you have to learn ruby and it's a decent pay i would say the rank 7 goes to rust so rust is one of the underrated programming language which everyone has to learn i'll tell you why everyone has to learn so rust is mainly focused to build secure and high performance systems so basically this is being used in cyber security as well in 2025 rust is going to change the game of software development backend development and even game engines as well if you want to place in cybersecurity field or any security and high performance field, then you have to learn Rust, which is like in high demand and high salary as well. So the rank six goes to Go language. So if you want to work in cloud based platforms or cloud cloud or cloud based domains and DevOps and everything, then Go language is a must go to. Tools like Docker and Kubernetes are built in Go. So in 2025, cloud computing is going to be the backbone of a lot of fields. So Go language is a must. Even Netflix, Amazon are looking for Go language developers. So if you want to be in such platforms, then you need to be excel in Go language, which will be helpful for you to land in a high paying job, maybe in your dream company as well. The rank 5 goes to JavaScript. So basically JavaScript doesn't get stopped only with frontend. It also gets started with backend and other important feature with the help of Node.js. So if you want to build web apps, then JavaScript is a must. In 2025, JavaScript is going to keep its leg on IoT and as well as web apps as well. So if you are planning to be in such domains, then JavaScript is must. And do not stop only with the top layer of frameworks in JavaScript. Try to learn other things like Node.js and other important frameworks as well. The hash isn't limited with Windows anymore. You can create cross seam apps which can actually handle in Mac OS, Linux and Windows seamlessly. In 2025, C-Hash is going to change the game of gaming industry because AR and VR grows enormously. So eventually C-Hash is going to be the backbone of AR and VR. So if you are looking jobs in such domains and still C-Hash is a high paying job, then you must learn C-Hash. The rank 3 goes to Java. Despite of having a slight dip, Java still holds 15.6% of the market shares in all the IT domain. And if you want to build a cloud native apps, then Java is one of the key players. 
and developing Android apps, still Java is required. And in future, in 2025, big data is one of the important things. And in big data world, Apache, Hadoop and Spark are based off Java. So Java is evolving. So that's why I have ranked it in number three. So the rank two goes to C++. Basically, C++ is the backbone of high performance critical applications. From building immersive games through Unreal Engine and to high frequency financial apps and system, C++ delivers it seamlessly. And don't forget about IoT. C++ is being involved in creating IoT applications as well. And in 2025, even the homes are getting automated. There are a lot of tools, there are a lot of apps, there are a lot of products has been built, which will be using C++ in their packet. And even famous apps and software use C++. One such good example is Adobe products. Whatever the products Adobe has, C++ also has it leg on all the products. And also C++ is important in DSA. So if you are planning to crack interviews in 2025, so C++ is still important to clear the rounds in DSA. And the rank one obviously goes to Python, the versatile with 29.6% market hold. Python is a revolution in AI. There are a lot of frameworks like PyTorch and TensorFlow, which helping the AI to revolute the AI next level. And to be mind blowing by 2030, with the help of Python and AI, 15.7 trillion will be contributed to the world economy. And if you want to be in that, then you are going to learn Python. Python doesn't stop only with AI, also it created a revolutionary around data science and big data as well. And frameworks like Django and Flask, which makes easy to create web apps. So in 2025 to 2030, Python is never going to die. Make sure you just learn for at least the intermediate. It will definitely save your career. So please drop your views. I wanted to know your views, how I ranked in my perspective. So I wanted to know you guys also you can also rank according to your perspective and if you want the resources to learn all of these do check my caption i have given all the things whichever i had in my previous video also i have given the caption the resources i'm talking about so if you want resources to learn all these you can just go to my description and you can access it completely for free i'm looking for a lot of comments i'm looking for constructive criticism so that i can change myself if i made any mistakes as well so please do drop it and don't forget to share this useful video with your friends and college groups as well because so many people are confused which one to learn in 2025 which one will be like you know in my domain so i wanted to clear the doubt so i have given the proper explanation why it is going to be good in 2025 so that's why i have ranked it i hope you guys liked my video so please do share it with your friends like comment and subscribe see you guys in the next video until then peace